Hey, it's Bitty Penny. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I missed you guys. I needed to make a Father's Day card, so let's get to it. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I have my uh, stamp set that I'll be working with this month for Not Too Shabby. It's called You Goat This and it's from Lawn Fawn. I just love this stamp set. Um, I needed some goats and I've been seeing them for a while but I'm really glad I chose the Lawn Fawn ones because the size is perfect for a slimline. So that's what I'm making today. They're just perfect for like a slimline scene. And I am going to use a style. Now, I've seen this for years, but I think it's just like a trend right now to uh, use alpha letters and um, create, you know, unique sentiments. Now, I wouldn't say mine's terribly unique, but I did bring in this Tellgate um, Honeybee Alpha set. I just got this from Jamie as well, and I just checked her shop. She has one left. I just really liked how narrow it is, and then now I also have this other Alpha set, and I honestly don't know where this one's from. I don't have any packaging for it. It's just in a plastic sleeve, but um, I already had some pieces pre-cut, so I just went through and found the sentiment which I wanted, which was the goat. Um, so yeah, I think the trend is just using alphas to create um, unique sentiments. And I like to have a variety of alphas, um, alpha dies, and especially like on one card, I think it's fun to kind of mix up the fonts. So I'm going to watercolor, watercolor this little goat family and it's perfect. It's like our family. There's four of them. There's four of us. So it's kind of almost too easy to make this Dr. Shrub's Father's Day card. Honestly, I already gave him one card. <laughs> that I found at the grocery store when I was grocery shopping. That's right. I am not only, I'm just not a snob when it comes to cards. I like store-bought cards. I like handmade cards. I like simple cards. I like very detailed cards. If it's a card, chances are I'm going to like it. Anyways, it was a gorilla um, <laughs> in a bathrobe watering the yard, and it had a very funny sentiment. But I wanted to make him one by hand too because ever since he did craft roulette with me and tried making a card, well, he did make a card. Ever since he made that card, um, he appreciates even more now what goes into a handmade card. So I wanted to make sure that he had one that was handmade as well. And I've already given him the other card that I got at the grocery store because once something gets in my hot little hands, I don't hold on to it. I just give it to people, even if it's a month early. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm terrible like that. I don't hold on to things to surprise people. I just give it to them right away. <laughs> Is anybody else out there like that? Sorry, you guys. Kind of... Um, been so busy. I, you know, I traveled for four days for work for my nine to five this week. So I was gone. And before I left, I got really sick. Well, one day I worked very hard for the car drive. Um, I worked like a 14 hour day. Then the next day I was very sick. Um, I think whatever blood disorder that I have, which is non-diagnosed, is coming back. And so one of the things that happens is I can get very fatigued very easily. And, um, so the 14 hour day did me in and then I had to travel for four days and then I was extremely fatigued for two days. <laughs> so I've either been extremely ill or traveling <laughs> for like eight days. Anyways, um, I figured you had lots of card making videos to watch. Um, 
either here on my channel or with all the other lovely creators out there on YouTube that I adore. There's so many of us. I don't know how you pick, but anyways, um, I know I just love to run around like a mad woman. And when I mean run around, I mean with my fingertips and go, oh gosh, let me catch up on this person. Oh, let me go catch up on this person. There's just so many. I just glanced up and I left my glue open for eight days. So this should be interesting. Um, so you go to this. I just had fun watercoloring these little goats. I love to watercolor. It is my favorite medium of choice when it comes to coloring up images. I just love it so much. I had to do the haystack. Now I have my slimline card front here. Um, and this is honestly just how I do scenes pretty much is I just let ink blend some color down. I very rarely use stencils though I will. And I know there's so many wonderful ones, cloud stencils, grass stencils, hillside st stencils. Um, but you know, I get the effect that I want just by smearing some ink on my paper, just to be completely honest. So mommy goat, daddy goat, and two babies. And of course, one had to be leaping off the bale of hay. And I did triple my alpha letters. So I cut each one three times to make sure that they would really kind of stand out and have some sturdiness to them. Uh, if you don't have alphabet dies, an alternative could be um, like those alpha stickers, the thickers, I believe is what they're called. Um, that could be something you could try. Um, you might even try stenciling. I know the Dollar Tree often has alpha stencils. I did pop up all of my goats and then I brought in these enamel dots. It's called Pops of Color. It's from scrapbook.com, but Nouveau Drops would also work, which is something I know that Jamie has in the shop. I did check she has um, this stamp set as well as the Telgate Alphas in stock and make sure to use N2S10 to get 10% off your order. Don't forget that you guys. And if you spend 60, you usually get free shipping and a free gift. So just throwing that out there. I'll have my affiliate link down below. Um, and so I would love it if you use that. It helps a lot. All right. I put my um, dots down early because I knew we were leaving to go to the movies <laughs> and they'd have plenty of time to dry. And then I came back and I embossed um, the sentiment, which is you are. So daddy, you are the goat. He is the greatest of all times. He is such a good father. I can't even put it all into words how good of a father he is for our children how good of an uncle he is. He's just the best, an amazing husband, just one of the best people I've ever known in my whole entire life. I'm so glad that we're a family and that my children have him as a father. It's, it's a blessing and a gift and amazing. So now I'm just putting all the little details. You know, I know these little stamps can sometimes seem a little fussy as you see me in my fingers playing around with them and positioning them. But I think it's these little details that really set a card off. So I am doing some more embossing here. And I had grabbed this green cardstock from my scraps. So I keep file folders on my desk with 4.3 million other things. And I keep two file folders. I keep one for white scraps. Well, I'm sorry, I keep three. Um, one for white scraps, one for colored, like solid colored cardstock scraps, and another for um, pattern paper scraps when the pad is pretty much used up and there's nothing left to store. Then I'll just take those out and put those. And it's mainly for my favorites. The other ones go in my scrap bin, which is under my t desk, <laughs> which I cleaned out not that long ago. Um, and made 
I think I made some stuff. I can't even remember, you guys. All right, so since this was a scrap, I didn't have a lot of options, but I wanted it to be matted back here. So what I did is I cut it slightly bigger than my card front. So it would uh, stick out on the edges. So I'm gonna glue these two little strips down. It was a way for me to get a look of the um, card being matted, but it's not fully matted. And of course I could have cut it to like the same height as my um, card front, but I didn't want it that way. I wanted it sticking out and I actually liked it, you know, seeing the depth of it being short as well. I don't know. I think it's an interesting look. It worked because all I had was scraps. So I'm gluing it down. I'm going for it. <laughs> Just a little idea there. Um, in case you're making a big card, but you all, you have a scraps like me, make it work. So I essentially have the front of my card done now, and now I'm going to add in, um, my inside sentiments and just a few little pieces, um, stamped images that I had remaining. So you guys, today I am... My mother-in-law and my mom are coming over. It's going to be a matriarch lunch. And we are going to sort through more cards for the Uvalde card drive. The generosity is overflowing, you guys. It's incredible. Um, at last count, I know I had 3,000, but I was gone for four days. So we went and I came home and there were a lot of boxes. And then Dr. Shrub and I went to the post office yesterday and there was a trunk load of boxes. So who knows? I don't know. We'll find out today what number we're at, but we have thousands of cards for Evaldi and that is very exciting. So thank you all so much for donating to that cause. Here is my card. Well, it's not my card. It's Dr. Shrub's Father's Day card. I think it's so cute. I love it. That sparkle heart leaping off the hay. So now we just have to sign it and give it and celebrate. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Bye.